marvelous one. You are welcome. I would like to commend the efforts of the outgoing national president, Mr. Ayub Pascal, for his hard work. Mr. President, we say thank you because in spite of all odds, you have stood the test of time and proven yourself worthy beyond reasonable doubt. Many thanks also go to other members of the outgoing executives for their services to Mega Germany. My new division is for all and all are required to stand for my new division. Together, we will break mountains. Long live Mega Germany. Long live my new division. Thank you very much. The National Executive Committee of Mecca Germany. I wish to express our, our warmest thanks and gratitude to all of you who made it to Berlin for our 14th annual convention. Four years at the helm of an association like Mecca Germany has not been an easy task. But I don't shuffle. <laughs> My administration took over a mega Germany in 2009 that was made up of four branches. We took it as a challenge to try and reborn branches like Hamburg and Niedersachsen that had once existed, but because of one reason or the other collapsed and also to create new ones where none existed. Efforts at reviving Mega Hamburg failed, but success was however, success was however recorded in Hanover, where Mega Nidazaki was born. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you, for the first time, Mega Hessen Frankfurt, sitting right there. The creation of this branch that is that for now is made up of four members has been the joint effort of Manyangaro Erika and the interim president, Mrs. Nyenti Nidia, whom I'm happy to present to you today. I took over a Mega Germany with four, four branches, and I'm leaving today behind a Mega Germany with six branches. People should clap for me. Financially, Mecca Germany is much better off today than it was four years ago. More profitable. When we started managing the affairs of this association, we had just 3,000 euros in our coffers. But today, as I'm talking to you people, Mecca Germany can boast of 13,000 euros. And if I add the 5,000 euros that was used for the Emojo project, we would have been talking of 18,000, which is close to the 20,000 margin I set before taking office. My administration has also been involved in making friends and partners around Europe. In the month of September last year, I led a powerful, uh, a powerful Mega Germany delegation to France to attend the inauguration of Sisiko Peter and Sisiko Taco John in France. It is in this same goal that in the month of June this year, I led another Mega Germany delegation to Oslo, Norway, to attend the Mega Norway Convention. The presence of the President of Mega Norway, Mr. Ray Edwin, here today, and some of his members, is a proof of the cordial relationship 
that exist amongst our two associations. You are welcome, Mr. President. It is also worth noting that the Egbe Germany has grown from strength to strength to be an integral part of Mecca Germany. We can now boast of four Sisekus in Egbe Germany, namely Sisiku Egbomba, Sisiku Manga, Sisiku Akat, and the youngest of them all, whom I'm happy to present here today in the person of Sisiku Acharemanyo of Mekanoro. To conclude, my four years in charge of Mega Germany has earned me many friends as well as enemies. To my enemies, maybe as president I took a decision that did not favor you. I am very sorry for that and would like to be your friend, especially as I will no longer be the president again. <laughs> To my friends, thank you very much for always standing by me, and I pray that it continues in that manner. So, thank you all very much for coming. Long live Make a Germany, long live my motivation, and may God bless us all. Thank you very much. Make a body wouldn't take us 16 members. That is true. And out of those 16 members, I will be proud to tell you that 10 are here present. <laughs> Mega Badi Wittenberg is fully represented here today. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Margaret. As you heard from him, a new baby has been born. And as the tradition holds, we don't have much to give to them. All what I would like to present to them is our national constitution. <laughs> Madam President, please come forward and have it. I have realized that most of our members maybe don't have this constitution and they have not even read and that is the cause of our problems the moment you don't understand how this document works no way you will not know how this association will be directed it took me one year to read this association and to understand it so i'm pleading on everybody to take time off to read this constitution and know how it works madam president People are welcome to Mecca Germany, and uh, I know you don't have much, or you not have time to say anything, but take this as a token from the national president. Of the Thank 
my ex president. Thank you so much. I love to be with you people. The committee report. The feasibility studies of uh, the Upper Banyan project has been carried out. And here in front of me is a list from uh, Tintu. Most of our members have the list. And here also is a list from, I mean, the prizes from Baofakam that I got. This is a pro forma from Baofakam. I will leave all these documents that I'm having to the new government. Everything is set for the project to, to, be, to be realized. Thank you, Paul, very much for listening. The financial report. Manu. Manu. As a loan now. Concerning we finance, actually last month we sent the quarter two report where I hope that each member of inside the house don't really see way to get them for we, we account. Quarter two report will be out for first week of July. And uh, by the way, we then now we enter quarter three.